Hey, Tim and Joel. What's your theory about the Grammys? Is it the Grammys, Joel Creasy? Oh, yeah, there is some talk that um, because it's, you know, the big, the hot race is between Adele and Beyonce for mm-hmm. Album of the Year, but there's now rumour that um, Grammys voters might give their vote to the Encanto album. Oh, Disney's fingers Encanto. crossed. Yeah, so oh, they don't have to vote the, for either of them. The split vote. Yeah. We've got some big mm. Arias news coming up in about an hour, actually, in Glossy. Some massive nominations today. I think the awards ceremonies overseas, they'll be coming very like, let's make sure we don't do the wrong thing as opposed to just giving it to the right person. You know what I mean? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So let's, yep. let's show the world that uh, we're, oh, doing we're doing the right we're doing, thing yeah. as mm. opposed to here's who should win. Right. You know what? Okay. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. think animated things get to be in with oh, real life. Oh, and Canto's pretty amazing. Yeah, but, I mean, but would you put Encanto up against other movies, say, in Best Picture? No, you give it its own category. Why? Oh. Well, because one's animated and one's not. Yeah, but it's amazing. Right. Yeah, I'm, we I, don't talk about Bruno. I mean... Oh, I have yeah. seen Encanto. I just mean, like, I guess, if I know Moana you, is yeah, up against Titanic... Like yeah, the, the, you can't you can't nominate yeah. the okay. same. Yeah, not quite. Well, yeah, what is going on with the Aries this year? Is it? I've got some big soon, news. Right? Got, it's well, like a month very away. Very soon, and the nominations yeah. were re- released today. So don't look ahead. Don't read okay, ahead. I, we'll, we'll, I never we'll do. Drop it all for you. That's uh, the good thing about me. I never do. In glossies. <laughs> in the meantime, though, how good's this? Angela Lansbury, a distant cousin of former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. Bang. I know. And thoughts with you today, Malcolm. Yeah, um, well, speaking of PMs, I'm actually on Albo's team in the cricket tomorrow. The oh, teams that's right. The Are teams you doing that tomorrow? Yep. Yeah, the teams were announced today. And you know what? We'll put two Inner West boys together because we fight dirty, but we look smart. Is there, now who else is playing? Is that is it all secret or are Fitzy you like and to well, uh, mm. Yeah, I, I assume um, so. Uh, Carl and Dickie. Okay. Oh, Andrew wow. Rochford. Okay. Um, Bo Ryan. Oh, wow. Dominic Perrottet, who someone oh. said to me the other day. What's very, he doing? Yeah, he's been the cricket. Uh, <laughs> Lynn McRanger, seriously? Make sure Lynn. I'll, I'll, pack the, I'll pack the Doritos. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Someone the said Oreos. something very funny the other day, um, Dominic Perrottet, that he's got a better each way because you're either Dominic Perrottet or Dominique Perrottet. You can't be Dominic uh. Perrottet. you got to pick. You can't have the French on just one of your names and oh, not the other I name. I see what you mean. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I like that. Just a little bet each way, just to make sure he doesn't offend anyone. <laughs> I wonder if he's any good at cricket. Well, this will be interesting. The first time we've ever seen uh, current Prime Minister Anthony Albanese bowl, because famously John Howard could not roll the arm over. I remember seeing oh, that. Was he? that when he was in India or something? And it was yeah, very, it's very it embarrassing. Was they always get a Prime Minister to bowl. And it's very hard. Unless you're a match fit, it's very hard to roll the arm around. No, I can't bowl. I auditioned for a cricket commercial when I was 14. And, <laughs> and how do you go? <laughs> terrible. Instead of the ball flying forward, it shot straight up and smashed the overhead projector in the uh, in the room. You were better? Bowler. Bowl, I was bowling and mm. I didn't know what to do, so I just Hang on, if off. you're playing cricket and there's an overhead projector to, in top, on top of you, that's not cricket. Well, it was, it was an audition. It was an audition for a okay. cricket commercial. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, didn't get, it didn't get it. You'll be shocked to hear. Now... Famous relations. Oh, there's Mark Ferguson, Brett Lee, Mel McLaughlin, Conrad Sewell, and Ben Fordham as well. Oh, there you go. Well, nice. Like the lineup. Well, well, I think we're going to have someone who's playing cricket tomorrow on Quick Draw tomorrow too. So we'll, we'll have a little debrief tomorrow. In okay. the meantime, though, Juliet, you are related to someone. Malcolm Turnbull related to Angela Lansbury. Who is your famous relation? Hi. Um, it's actually not me. It's my partner. Mm-hmm. Um, his mum did their family tree um, a little while ago and figured out that he's related to Peter Mayhew who is also known as Chewbacca. Oh, my, oh my God. Gosh, Kate Kate's Ritchie. favourite. Oh, my God. I love Chewbacca. Literally Chewbacca from Star Wars, oh. and I'm a huge fan, so I was so excited to hear that. Oh, wow. Um, unfortunately, he passed away before we got a chance to, like, track him down and try and get in there. You Does know? your family get any of the royalties? <laughs> no, unfortunately oh. not. <laughs> and is your partner a hairy man, too, all over? <laughs> no, thankfully. Thankfully oh. not. Um, but we do get bragging rights that he's related to Chewie, so... Of course. Yeah. Well, well done. Good on you, Juliet. That's a good one. Wasn't expecting that one, actually. No, it was I, because when they said the name, I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> uh, the show kicks off for real next two grand. Thanks, Al. They'll pass out another $10,000 a day after five. Kate, Tim and Joel on Nova.